वेलकम टू द टेस्ट प्रेप कार्ड चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ई ए एम सी ई टी एग्जामिनेशन एंड द टॉपिक्स विच विल कवर इंक्लूड द एग्जाम पैटर्न द एग्जाम सेंटर्स कॉलेजेज अंडर ई एम सी ई टी सम एन आर आई रिलेटेड टॉपिक्स फॉर ई ए एम सी ई टी द कट ऑफ्स फॉर द टॉप कॉलेजेज ऑफ ई एम सी ई टी एंड सम बुक्स एंड सिलेबस ऑफ ई एम सी ई टी एग्जाम ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ ई एम सी टी एग्जामिनेशन सो ई एम सी टी स्टैंड फॉर इंजीनियरिंग एग्रीकल्चरल एंड मेडिकल कॉमन एंट्रेंस टेस्ट इट इज एन अंडर ग्रेजुएट टेस्ट कंडक्टेड वंस इन अयर फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग मेडिकल एंड एग्रीकल्चरल कॉलेज ऑफ द स्टेट्स आंध्र प्रदेश एंड तेलंगाना ओके सो एनी वन फ्रॉम आंध्र प्रदेश एज वेल एज द एन आर आई स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव अ लिविंग रिकॉर्ड इन आंध्र प्रदेश और दे हैव सम लैंड इन आंध्र प्रदेश कैन ऑल्सो फिल द एप्लीकेशन फॉर दिस एग्जामिनेशन डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्जाम एलिजिबिलिटी फॉर ई ए एम सी टी एग्जामिनेशन सो द बेसिक एग्जाम एलिजिबिलिटी इज दैट यू शुड बी ऑफ इंडियन ओरिजिन लाइक यू कैन बी एन आर आई स्टूडेंट बट your origin should be india the second exam eligibility pattern is that you should have completed 16 years of age at the time of filling application form and the third basic exam eligibility is that you should have scored or passed your class 12th board examination with a minimum of 45% aggregate and for reserved category students it is 40% aggregate if you are appearing in uh, class 12th this year you can also fill the form of eam cet but for the admission into the colleges this is the basic requirement so let us move to the important dates for eam ct examination so there are no official date till date but uh, we can discuss some unofficial or expected dates according to the previous year trends for eam ct so the expected opening date of application form would be first week of march 2021 the closing date would be first week of april the admit card would most probably be out in the third week of april and the exam would most probably be held in the second week of may and the results would most probably be out in the fourth week of may and counseling will begin in the month of june so these are some of the expected dates now let us move to the exam pattern for eam ct so there are a total of 160 questions in the examination of eam ct the first section include physics which has 40 questions second one is chemistry again 40 questions and the third one is mathematics or biology means for engineering stream students it would be mathematics for medical stream students it would be biology and it cons consists of total of 80 questions each question consists of one marks means if you do a question correctly then you would be getting plus one and if you get any question wrong then you know marks will be deducted means there is no negative marking in the examination and it is a very positive thing for you that you can attempt all the questions the exam is of 3 hour duration means you will get 3 hour to attempt the examination and the exam language will be english telugu or urdu means you have three options to select for exam language about the eam ct colleges so there are more than 350 colleges which are taking admission on the basis of your eam ct scores but we can't discuss all of them in a single video as it would be very much time consuming so i will tell you about four to five uh, good colleges which most of the aspirants giving eam ct aspire for okay so i will name them the first one is koneru lakshmiya education foundation guntur it is the one of the best college under eam ct second one is andhra university in visakhapatnam it is considered as one of the best university third one is jawaharlal nehru technological university college of engineering kakinada and the fourth one is vignans foundation for science and technology guntur so these are four of the best colleges under eam ct so you can uh, you have you should have a very good rank to get admission in these four colleges before moving ahead in the video let me tell you about the nri ebook prepared by test prep card for nri students and you can download it from the description section it is very very helpful so now let us move to the eam ct exam center so there are more than 50 exam cities for eam ct in andhra pradesh and telangana but uh, naming them i think it is not very necessary as you can find them anywhere so i can tell you that there are more than 50 exam cities now let us discuss about the eam ct seats reservation and nri quota so let me tell you that there are about 70000 or more than 70000 seats uh, in the colleges which uh, give admission on the basis of eam ct but it doesn't mean that you will get a good college or a good branch and there are 70000 seats there are limited seats in the good colleges and good branch and you should have a decent rank to get admission in them okay uh, talking about the reservation in eam ct so 6% seats are reserved for for scheduled caste people 15% are reserved for scheduled tribe Uh, 25% for other backward classes and 3% seats in each of the uh, 
category is reserved for physically handicapped people okay uh, there are about 33% seats reserved for female candidates and in many colleges there are about 15% seats for nri and it can vary college to college now this is the time to discuss about the emct cutoffs so we'll be discussing about the two top colleges and the rank required for the top branches to get admission there so the first one is as i have told you earlier is andhra university in visakhapatnam it is one of the best college under emct and we can say that it is one of the best college uh, in andhra pradesh and telangana combined okay so to get computer science engineering branch in andhra university you should have a rank under 1000 for electronics and communication branch there you should have a rank of 1400 or below for mechanical engineering you should have a rank under 1600 for chemical engineering you should have a rank under 4000 and if some of you are um, interested in metallurgical department so for metallurgical engineering you should have a rank under 9500 so these data are taken from the previous year stats okay the second one uh, university is Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University in Kakinada and it is also one of the best university in the state of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana combined so for computer science engineering branch there you should have a rank under 1450 for electronics and communication you should have a rank under 1350 for mechanical you should have a rank under 1700 for civil engineering you should have a rank under 2100 and for petroleum engineering if some of you are interested in petroleum engineering you should have a rank under 5000 so these are the cutoff ranks for two best colleges under emct examination so last topic for the video is emct books and syllabus so i will tell you about some important books uh, for the preparation of EMCT examination and I will tell you this subject wise okay so for physics the best book considered is HC Verma both volumes means volume 1 and volume 2 the second book is DC Pandey same for physics only and the third important book is uh, EMCT physics by Arihant experts it is also con considered as a very good book for the preparation of physics for EMCT examination now let us move to the chemistry section so for chemistry ncrt is i think more than enough okay ncrt is more than enough but apart from ncrt you can also go through op tendon for uh, organic chemistry and uh, at last let me tell you about maths so for maths rd sharma is the only book which is more than enough for the preparation okay rd sharma for 11th as well as 12th means both volumes of rd sharma and talking about the syllabus of emct examination so syllabus of emct examination is same as the syllabus for your 11th and 12th boards means there is no change in syllabus you can go through your 11th syllabus and 12th syllabus and that's it for emct only okay so hope you liked the video if you liked the video do like subscribe the channel for the further updates and if you have any doubt in any of the topic uh, do comment and you can also contact us through the link given in the description of this video